the origin of the suffering is craving and the origin of craving is delusion. In the Buddha's teachings there are two things that alternate one after another and they are the ignorance and the so-called influxes. Now influx of course is not a word we would use in English or anybody else would use in English but that's how the Pali word asava is translated. Asava I like to translate it more as a tendency but the word tendency is used for another Pali word that's why influxes is used here to distinguish them but it's pretty much the same thing. So these tendencies, asavas, namely the tendency for sensual desires, the tendency to desire for existence, the tendency to have wrong view, the tendency to be deluded. They are the base or the condition for ignorance. Ignorance then is the condition for these four tendencies. And those four tendencies are again conditioned for delusion. And like this, they are um, alternating one after another. So for example, you see in a TV or in a movie, you see an advertisement on a beautiful car. So there arises the tendency of the tendency for sensual pleasures, the desire for the car. Then when you follow that tendency of the sensual desire, you either make money to get the car, which will support your delusion that you have a car, that you are, that there is this permanent self which can have a car, which can enjoy sensual pleasures and that sensual pleasures are good and that they can be attained. Or you will have the tendency for sensual desire, you will work hard to make money for the car, but you will lose your job or you will lose your house or you will have to move somewhere else or uh, somehow you will not be able to get the car or you will get the car but you lose it or somebody steals it or it gets broken into disrepair in that case again your delusion is supported because you come to the conclusion that you are not so good that your permanent self is weak and that you need to work harder to make it stronger. Whatever you do, whenever you desire, regardless whether you achieve or you don't achieve, all the outcomes will support your delusion. And that delusion will then again in turn support another desire, another sensual desire or desire for existence, desire for wrong view or a tendency for wrong view or tendency for delusion or ignorance. And because of this alternation of the four influxes or tendencies and the ignorance or delusion, there arises suffering. But sometimes people decide to be generous or to live ethically or to calm down and observe the things as they are. In that case, as a result, arises a merit. There arises a power, a power to know. And with this power, if, that is, if the power is further nurtured, then it is possible to understand that suffering is originated or is caused by craving and through higher generosity, higher ethics, a higher meditation, it is possible to attain the full wisdom, the full understanding that there is no self, nothing permanent at all. 
And with the cessation of craving, there is no more suffering.